Hey everybody and welcome to our Green Acres. I'm Teresa. Thanks so much for coming on today. Today it's a little bit dark out. We're getting um, rain so it's kind of a dreary day here so I hope the lighting is not too too far off. Um, I try to get in when I, where I've got some natural light from the door and then I've got this lamp here so anyway I hope the lighting is okay. So I just want to say a few things before I get on with the video but I'll make it really brief. Um, <clears throat> today's um, project is going to be um, these um, flower sack towels. Now you can shop around and find these sometimes five to a pack for five dollars. And I searched online and there's a few places where you can get them very reasonable. And like I tell y'all in the video, I got these a pack of five at Aldi. Well, I used some of them and made some at Christmas, um, put transfers on them and I gave them out as Christmas gifts. So I only had two left. Y'all, I'm ordering some more because this project was so much fun. And I left this one plain on purpose because I wanted to show y'all some different variations of things you can do with it. And I'm also gonna match it um, up with some other things in the video when I go to stage just to show y'all the different colors and textures of things that this pairs really well with. You can decoupage it or, you know, I give y'all some options in the video, but I did leave this one plain. And I don't know if y'all price these, but if you go out like to an Etsy store, um, these usually run between $12 and $15. Some people offer free shipping and sometimes by the time you pay that, I mean, you've got to put shipping on top of that. These can, you know, um, can run up. So um, <clears throat> I decided I want to try to make my own. And I'm gonna use these, and like I say, I'm excited to make more. And I'm gonna show y'all how to make a no-sew ruffle. It's very easy, and I use some scrap um, drop cloth on this one, and I kinda had to piece it together. So this one is, if you make it out of scrap cloth like I did, I'll show you how, how to do it. And then this one, I had enough fabric to make this one, and it was a lot easier to make this one because I had enough fabric to where I could fold this and double it and make my ruffle um, um, double instead of having to um, piece it together like I did my drop cloth. I've got to order some drop cloth. I cannot be without drop cloth because I've got another project I want to show y'all using drop cloth. So, But anyway, I'm going to go over all this in the video, but um, I chose a chicken on this one. And then like I say, I left this one plain just to give y'all some options. And also you'll see in the video, I kind of paired it with the little rosette that we made back in the last video and i'm going to put a link to that video down below so if y'all want to go out and see how to make these little cute little rosettes so to just give y'all some little options and one more thing that won't be in the video but i wanted to show y'all because i think this is really a really pretty addition too if y'all make these um if you get you some little crocheted um um ribbon this would be really pretty too if you add like a little trim, you know, on top of it too. And that just really adds to it. So I wanted to kind of throw that in there to y'all too. So before I get on with the video, I just want to tell each and every one of y'all how much we appreciate y'all. A few weeks ago, I was out here going, oh, we need a couple, a few hundred more thousand people to subscribe for us to hit 10,000 this month in June. So y'all, you know how far off we are. <laughs> We are 423 subscribers away from hitting the 10K. Y'all, if you have not subscribed to our channel yet, we would love for you to be one of the 423 to make us go over to the 10,000 mark. We are so excited. So y'all, if you haven't subscribed yet, I hope you will. Just hit that little red subscribe button up there. And we'd love to have you in our YouTube family. So um, I want to give a shout out on my Facebook home decor page. I'm going to have all the information for that in my video. But I want to give a big welcome to uh, Marja Teree. And I hope I didn't uh, mispronounce your name. It's T-E-R-R-E. -E. Welcome to the channel, Kathy, Jennifer, and Diane. So y'all, um, I think that is it. Um, I went over, oh, and I just too wanted to add real quick the, the purpose for these, um, I, I staged them as many ways as I can. And y'all, video length, I try to keep things as short as I can because I don't want for y'all to get bored. <laughs> so, um, but I could go on for days staging, trust me. These would be so cute to layer them on your ladders, put them in baskets, put them on your towel racks in your kitchen. 
Um, there's just so many things you can do with these. You can you can hang them on racks with the hooks. So anyway, y'all, I hope y'all make these. And if you do, make sure to go over and show them to me on my Facebook Home Decor page. So y'all, as always, and Tater's going to make an appearance in the video, y'all. So as always, I love each and every one of y'all. Keep the comments coming. I love getting to know all of y'all. And I hope you have a great weekend. And I'll see y'all in the next video, y'all. I hope you get some inspiration. And thanks for watching. One more thing real quick. I knew I would forget something. I just want to point out because I did not put this in the video. Um, make sure when you, if you work on this project to make sure you wear finger protectors or you use a low heat hot, uh, glue gun because you're going to have your fingers in the hot glue a lot. So I'm using a very low temp um, hot glue gun. So I just wanted to point that out. I don't want anybody to have burnt fingers. And you will see in the video if hot glue bothers you, if it gets on your hands or on your nails, because sometimes it does me, because I like to keep my hands clean when I'm crafting. It, it will, I, I'm covered in it. <laughs> You'll see in the video, it's on my arms, it's in my hair. It's, I have hot glue strings everywhere. So anyway, I just wanted to point that out. And there was one more thing. Um, that's it. Okay, y'all, go get on with the video. Thanks for watching. Welcome to Our Green Acres. Okay, today we're going to make some decorative uh, towels out of flower sack towels. And I purchased this pack of five at Aldi for $5. So that is a dollar per towel. So I'm just pressing the towel out as best I can, just getting it a little um, more into shape. And here I'm going to make a ruffle. And I'm using some scrap drop cloth that I have. So I'm going to have to make uh, my ruffle to go all the way across my towel in, in sections. And I've measured the width um, four inches. So once you get your four inch width of um, your, your fabric done, you want to do an inseam of about a half inch on the bottom and also half inch on the sides. I press those down really good to get a smooth edge and then I'm going to secure those with hot glue. Now in the next ruffle that I make, I'm going to have enough fabric to where I can just double the fabric and I won't have to do some of these steps. Okay, now that we have all the edges um, glued down, now we're going to go two and a half inches and we're going to make a pleat. So we are trying to form a ruffle and in about two and a half inches, you want to put a little dab of glue. And after you put a little dab of hot glue, then you're going to want to bring the fabric over on top of that and press it down. Once that is secure, then you want to add another dab of hot glue on top of that. And then you're going to want to take the fabric back the other way and place it down and press it down. And that should form a nice little pleat. And we're going to do two and a half inch pleats on this one. And then I'm about to show you one close up. Okay, now that we have our two and a half inch pleat completed, we want to go in the center of that pleat, add a little dab of hot glue, and make a small pleat. And you will see there, you just want to make a small gather, and you will want to do that in each center of each pleat. And you will see it's starting to take that ruffle shape.
Okay, now I'm going to connect my two sections together. I was working with scrap fabric, but if you're working with some fabric that is the same length as your towel, you won't have to do this part, but I had to make mine in sections since I was using scrap drop cloth, and I just um, hot glued my sections together and kind of folded them over to where they have a smooth edge and it wasn't real noticeable. But you will see in the next ruffle that I make that I make it in a, a bigger fabric, and I'll show you an easier way to do this than when you're having to work with scrap fabric. And now you just want to take your ruffle and you just want to put it on the back of your towel where you've got that pretty front edge and you want to make sure you've got it pressed down as good as you can before you start gluing. Okay, on this towel, I did not add any graphics, but I'm going to show y'all some options that you can do and just print out free printables and decoupage them on like I'm about to do the next towel. And I'm just giving y'all some inspiration of some things that I found that I liked. You know, you can go country French farmhouse with the roosters and the hens. You can do shabby chic. Um, you can do uh, florals, botanicals. Um, you know, the sky's the limit pretty much on what you can do. You can go patriotic and do a patriotic type ruffle. Um, you know, just use the colors that you like in your home. And like I say, these are just some options that I found that I liked. And um, right now, I only had two towels. I have a pack of five left. So I do want to order some more towels and do some more. And here you can take uh, and really personalize it. This is a recipe that come out of um, an old recipe box of Ben's grandmother's. You can do a handwritten recipe. Uh, decoupage that on. Ben's grandmother owned a little country store and she wrote a recipe down on an old rece uh, receipt pad. So, you know, you can even do personal photos on these. So, I think these are so much fun to make and I can't wait to make more. Okay, for this one, you want to, since we're putting a graphic on this one, you want to find the center of your towel and I've just marked mine with a, a straight pen. And then that this is very important, and I almost forgot, but you're going to see the graphic that I chose, um, and I almost had a big accident with the Mod Podge there. <laughs> but anyway, press it down, and the wax paper, this is very important when you're using Mod Podge because you're going to soak that fabric on the back, and you don't want it to stick to whatever you, the surface is. And here I'm just marking where my graphic is, so when I um, put it back on, I'll kind of know where, where the center is and where I want to put it. And I, I wish I would have put this graphic a little bit lower on my towel. Um, but anyway, just, you know, a side note there. Just kind of have it, um, you know, in the area that you, you want it to be when you fold your towel back up or however way you're going to display your towel. And just Mod Podge the back of it really good. Um, put it down on your fabric. And then I sealed it with a top coat of Mod Podge. This Mod Podge that I'm using is waterproof. Um, I don't know, um, a lot of people do um, wash things that they hot glue and Mod Podge with this um, waterproof um, Mod Podge. I have not tried it yet, but you may can wash these. Uh, so here I'm going to make a ruffle out of the Buffalo um, check. Now when you're working with something like this, the main thing you want to consider is you have to make sure your pattern lines up. So um, I told you... To, you know, I had to work with sections on the scrap. I do have to make another section for this one because it was too short. 
Um, but so you want to make sure if you do that, you want to make sure that your pattern is the same when you connect them together. This, I folded it um, across the bottom. So I've doubled my material in this because I had more fabric. And so now I'm just having to do a smooth edge on the sides. But we're going to do the same thing. You do the two and a half inch pleat. And then we'll put a little pleat in between those. And then we'll hot glue those onto the, the tea towel. If y'all are not already following me on Instagram, please go over and follow me at Our Green Acres. And also, we'd love for you to subscribe to our channel. If you have not gone over and joined me on my Facebook Home Decor page, please go over and join me at Our Green Acres Home Decor and DIY Inspirations. We'd love to have you go over and share your projects there.